Hey everybody, it's Buns, and welcome to my first ever possible vlog! Can you guys see the pit stains of this shirt? This is probably my favorite vintage shirt that I own in my life, and I think I bought it for like between 15 and 25 cents from the thrift store a thousand years ago. I know you guys have seen this a million times. I love it, but it does kind of have these like powdery, unfortunate, um pit stains or is that just holes now that's just holes welcome to the world of my white bra i have been thinking about starting like genuine vlogs for a really long time and i think mostly i am being influenced by one of my best friends in the world leanne and i have watched her do vlogs for about two years now and i'm always like oh my god that looks so fun she's like much more um interesting than i am i feel like that's really really why i've been hesitant to start vlogs for a long time is because i feel like truthfully i might be kind of like a boring person <laughs> i know some people might take that the wrong way but it's just like i don't feel like i have uh it's just not my personality you know like i'm like more of a homebody like i generally am not looking to go on like fantastic trips and i don't live in la or new york or like some sort of like hopping um really cool place where i will like cruise around on a boosted board do you ever struggle with that total divide of your personality i always feel like i will be at war with myself because the strongest part of my personality i'm such a homebody and i don't want to do anything other than like mess with my knickknacky antiques all day and watch netflix with dogman and just kind of like go to starbucks 50 times but then the other part of me is just like what are you doing like why don't i ever like get out there and like go on fantastic trips or like i don't know just like kind of like get out there more like it doesn't even have to be fantastic trips i'm just being ridiculous you know what i'm saying like part of me is like oh skydive and then the other part of me is like sleep for 15 hours a day and i'm just sort of like at war with myself but i feel like i've been in a huge funk lately and I feel like I need to do something new and something different to invigorate my life again. I've been feeling very burnt out lately and it's not burnt out with what I do or my channel or anything like that. I just feel very burnt out on social media lately and I have vlogged about this 800 times and I'm never brave enough to upload it. And I still don't think I should talk about it too much. It's very scary to me, honestly. I sort of don't 100% appreciate the direction that social media is going in a corporate sense, I guess you could say. And I really miss just kind of like the down home nature i guess you could say of it all where it was just all very kind of like people sharing their lives you know and that whole sense of community but i don't know i just feel like if i do something completely different and maybe if i try something new it will reinvigorate me or at least give me another passion project to dive into and maybe I won't focus on the negative stuff that I feel is so much bigger than me or my voice or maybe any of our voices. It's really upsetting when you feel like you don't necessarily understand what's going on and you don't have any control over what's going on and you're just kind of sitting there. Just kind of like the most helpless I felt in a very long time. And I'll just touch on one quick, quick, quick thing because I wanted to address this forever, but like the whole thing, I guess now this first one is gonna be mostly like a tea vlog, there's that. I get frustrated with the whole like asking for likes situation lately and it upsets me because I think that there are some people out there who just think now all of a sudden I'm like hungry for likes and I'm like hungry for likes for what you know it's just like all I can say is like when I do ask you guys for likes or when I do set up like a like goal I've done that two or three times I think where I'm like oh let's get today's video to 100,000 likes let's get today's video to 200,000 likes like those videos I feel like are actually shown 
to more people, more of you guys. I really don't know what's going on. I genuinely don't think that it has anything to do directly with like money or anything else like that. It's not like I get a quarter every time somebody likes a video. Do you know what I mean? It's just kind of issues like that I feel lately have really kind of gotten the best of me where it's against my nature really to do things like that. Like I never really thought about likes before like mid-October of last year when I don't know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? But I never really like cared. I was just like, oh, leave a like if you genuinely like the video. I don't really think I ever really asked for likes before that point. But now it's just like I feel like it's so important and it's just something that's still... The only reason I care is because I just like want my videos to do how they've always done. I don't want to be cut off from you guys. And it's just a general feeling of not understanding what's going on, I guess you could say, on a whole. But I'm gonna try my best because it makes me feel very guilty to allow things like that to affect me because like this is, I feel like our happy place, you know, in the Swamp Family. And I feel like it's my job and it's my responsibility to not let things like that bog me down or affect my mood or affect my content, especially when I come here um, to share time with you guys. And I just don't wanna bring that negative energy to su such a happy place that I value so much. I have, I feel like in the past couple of months, like my anxiety and depression have been at an all time high. And I think it is because I have been allowing this stuff to kind of invade me mentally like on top of just a lot of other stuff like you know like a lot of times in your life there's things that's stressful but they're happy things like dog man and i just moved that's such a happy blessing that i'm truly grateful for but at the same time i'm like stressed out because i have all these boxes around and not enough time in the day really to unpack the boxes so we've been living here for a little bit over a month now and most of my stuff is still in boxes that we have not had time to really tackle and unpack. You know, there's just been kind of like a lot of stress, but you guys, like I went to the hospital like last November from like all this pain in my shoulder, my neck, my back. I think I like lightly touched on it, but I'm pretty sure it was just like the anxiety and depression and stress of kind of like all of this stuff just bogging down and polluting my mental space that like, created that pain and it got so bad so bad I could not move and I was just in tears and I had to go to the hospital it was not fun I think that's really the rot the reason why I'm starting this right now is because I really feel like I need a fun positive project to throw myself into because when I woke up this morning that pain was back in my back and I feel like in the past two weeks I've been getting really stressed out about this stuff again and I'm just like okay you just gotta let it go to a certain extent. Like I, I don't know, I don't, I do not want that pain again. So I think it's just smart for me to try my best to do what I've always done, which is what I feel like got me into social media and making videos in the first place, which is to take all of my really bad negative energy and all the things that bother me and to transform that energy into something that's positive, that I'm passionate about, that's a healthy way of dealing with the stress. And I feel like I always encourage you guys, or I used to be better about it. You guys, I've got to start vlogging again, T-vlogging, just talking to you guys. I feel like I miss that so much, and I feel like somewhere along the way, I lost more of the sherry kind of parts of myself do you know what i mean and i started just kind of like i don't know if i would say just like getting down to business because i don't feel like my videos are like very formal or professional i guess you could say i definitely do miss that and i have been meaning to talk about you know my anxiety and all kinds of stuff like that for a long time and i do feel bad for not sharing about that as much as i used to but i do feel like i've always tried to advocate to you guys that whether it's getting on social media making youtube videos doing art doing journaling doing writing getting into a sport doing whatever honestly i think it's very important especially if you're somebody who kind of internalizes 
um, stress and anxiety and depression and things like that. I think it's important to find something that you're passionate about and it's not always easy and I feel like I've been doing a very bad job of it lately, but to take all those negative feelings and put that energy into something positive that you're passionate about. I just also thought today would be a great day to start it because it is Sunday. Actually, technically, it's now Monday, uh, but it's still, because it's 2.11 in the morning. This is the time of day that I start things. I also am on a really weird, horrible schedule right now where for some reason, like one, two in the morning is like when I come alive and I'm like, good afternoon. And like everyone else in their right mind is sleeping like a baby right now. I shouldn't say in their right mind. I've always been a night owl. Like even when I was a baby, my parents, I never had a bedtime ever in my life growing up. I have always been a night owl and I don't know, nighttime is like the time when I come alive. I thought like Sunday would be a good day to start vlogging. I'm gonna try and just record little tidbits this whole week and we'll see if you guys think it's interesting at all or not. I don't know if I would ever move this to another channel, like doing a second channel. Anytime I've spoken about doing a second channel, whether it be for like unboxings or whatever, I feel like the overwhelming answer is no, please don't really start or go to a second channel. So I kind of don't know. And I guess you guys would have to leave me a comment down below. I don't know, I'm really hesitant. I would be excited and hesitant to start a second channel, I guess is what I'm saying. Like I always swore I would never start a second channel. And then like in November, it started appealing to me. And now I'm like, oh, maybe I would never move things to a second channel. I've always loved the grab bag feeling of my channel where it's like beauty and like unboxings and clothing and, random stuff, vlogging, you know, I've always really liked to keep that mix here. I don't know if that's like the smartest thing or not, because I know some people are only here for one type of videos. Some people like a couple different videos that I do. So I don't know, I'm just torn. But today has been a nice lazy day. We haven't really done too much. What we did do, and I'm hesitant to talk about this because this is definitely, I don't even know what it's rated or what it would be rated if it had a rating, but for the past couple of days, Dogman and I have just been engrossedly watching the OJ Simpson show that just won an Academy Award. And you guys, I was, I was gonna put it in my March monthly favorites because the content on a whole is very interesting and it's the exact type of show that I like to watch, but it is extremely violent, disturbing, graphic in, um, imagery uh, that I could not watch parts of it. And I was watching like this and I was like asking Dogman, I'm like, let me know when I can look again. I don't know, definitely. I'm more scared to recommend that, but that is what we have been doing all day long. And other than that, I've just been drinking my Starbucks tea and I always have refills in my fridge because my baristas are the best baristas in the world. They always send me home with a couple of teas so that I can put them in my fridge and drink them for later. Other than that, my goals, I have a couple of goals before I go to sleep, which I should just try and force myself to go to sleep now and get on a better schedule, but I have no discipline. So I'm sure once again, I'm just gonna stay up all night because that's what I do. I don't know, I've always like, this is a bad trait, okay? Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. Like I just, I, oh, I just hit this big awesome backpack that I just found. I feel like this was in a video a thousand years ago. That's the fun thing about unpacking honestly is finding like all of the cool things that have been packed away forever. Anyway, mamas don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys uh, because I've always kind of like prided my pers my prided myself on being a non-disciplined person, but sometimes I wonder if it's like bad for me that I'm just like, no rules. Do you know what I mean? Like, but I feel like I would not have my personality if I was more disciplined than I am now. I don't know. I'm like a big advocate for like, just be your true self, whatever it is. Um, even if it's a hot mess like me, you know? Anyway, I need to find out how to get just like 2% discipline in my life. Anyway, my two goals is A, 
I have a new Fitbit. I used to wear a Fitbit for over a year and then I stopped because I used to have one of the little ones that clipped on like my shorts waistband but the little metal clasp on the back as my skin I know I've touched on this on a vlog this is so boring I'm just I'm not even going to be able to do any content this week because um welcome to 17 minutes already I know I've touched on this but over the past couple of years, my skin has become incredibly intolerant to any metals that is not like silver or like some kind of, I feel like that's like, just like ugh, gag me with a spoon. I love cheap jewelry, you know? But the little metal clasp on the back started giving me a freaking rash on my waistband. And I was like, I can't wear it. But I got one of the wristband ones recently and I really miss wearing a Fitbit because I honestly felt like when I was counting the steps and I was like gotta get them 10,000 steps it promoted me to be a more active and healthy person so gotta set up that Fitbit and I also want to just like get through at least this one storage box I just want to hang up this one box of clothing and uh, oh my gosh you guys so many cool things I'm finding. Do you remember these? They're from UNIF. They're like probably four, five years old. What did I say? I knew I had already started packing up my shoes and stuff before I filmed that fear and loathing video. And what did I say? I knew that I was gonna find my Hunter S. Thompson shoes right after I was done filming the fear and loathing video. And here they are. I started unpacking some boxes today and they were like right on top and I was like, why? I also just feel like I am organizing my closet and my makeup in the slowest possible fashion because I'm sort of conflicted. So this is how my brain works is I'm like, do I organize my clothes by brand? Because also that may sound snobby. I'm not trying to sound snobby. I guess brand is bad, but there really is only like a couple of brands that I wear like Unif and um, Dolls Kill, that's not really like a brand, but just like items that I get from certain stores. But I think what I'm gonna do is organize it by feeling or theme. Like, let me, I'll just show you like one little area that I don't know if you're gonna be able to see. Here's the fun thing about vlogging is also, I don't know how people like film and get good lighting with what they're doing, I don't know. Here's just my shoes, just they definitely belong over there, but they're not there yet. I need Dogman's help because all of the little shelves are either too low or too high. It's just, what am I gonna do? This is how I'm gonna organize you guys. Wish me luck. So this is like all of my Victorian or very Victorian inspired clothing. A lot of it is actual, antique pieces like this is an antique i use this for my tart swamp queen palette photo shoot and this is an actual antique it's actually like for going to the beach i'm just stopping the vlog right now to show you guys this one piece but it's so awesome i love antique clothing specifically around the 1880s because you guys know i'm ridiculously ridiculously obsessed with deadwood and so i just started collecting clothing from that period of time i know you guys have seen this piece a million times this is one of my absolute favorite most cherished clothing items that i own i got this in san francisco and this is actually oh i just killed it uh this is actually from the 1880s as well this is just the jacket part I don't have the skirt moved yet. And so anyway, so here's like my vintage section. That's new. That's like an Edwardian dress, but I need to alter it just a little bit. Anyway, uh, and then I started moving by feeling. So you guys know that like Dead Man is one of my favorite movies. So I have sort of this whole like section of clothes that reminds me of that movie. Um, I dress like movie characters, I guess, a lot. I don't know. I feel like my fashion choices, have I ever said this before, but I feel like my fashion choices are always inspired by movies that I like or actors that I like or I don't know. So here's like my whole, I don't, I don't have it all moved over yet, but this is my Hunter S. Thompson section of clothing. And I feel like I always start to dress kind of like gonzo around the 4th of July, like summertime is when I bust all this kind of stuff out. Um, was that real boring? Oh my gosh, I'm also proud of this. I finally got this um, backdrop area 
set up. My room tour is gonna come up this week and the Q&A, but we got this little section all done. When the uncommon people help me and then there's paint brushes up there. I don't know, I was actually planning, we might, I don't, will we have two vlogs this week? I don't know, I, I might start actually vlogging now tomorrow since I don't know how I didn't think that the intro explanation would be 500 years long, but here it is. 22 minute long video. I think that's what I'll struggle the most with vlogging is like not filming 10 hours every time I check in. I feel like I also should just have like a little vlogging camera instead of like this big giant honking thing. And the iPhone, like I feel like kind of filming on the iPhone doesn't cut it anymore these days. I need to like learn some new editing. I feel like I, that's the other thing I've been struggling with lately is it's like, I wanna make like my videos just overall like better and cuter. Like I wish I could like edit in like a cute intro or something, but you guys, it's tragic. I'm on the jankiest, oldest version of iMovie in the world. I am literally so scared about the day when my version of iMovie will not work or be supported anymore. And then I'm just like, how will I ever edit a video again? And I've tried to learn Final Cut Pro, Final Cut Pro X, and the new iMovie, which is not even new anymore. It was new like six years ago, not new anymore. I just, struggle with it so much. I don't know why I can't figure it out. I wish I could learn how to do like more exciting things with editing, but I don't ever have the time to like sit and slow down enough to like just say, okay, uh, I'll see you guys in three weeks once I learn how to edit videos. So there's that. But this video has been long enough. So let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below. Um, will you be excited for this? Do you think it's gonna be boring? Do you think I'm gonna need a second channel for it? Let me know down below just your general thoughts and feelings. And I love you guys. I hope you all have an amazing week this week. And uh, let's just share the love with each other, with our community. And even if we're feeling sad or down, let's just take that energy and try and transform it into something positive. I don't know, go out and give somebody a compliment and try and make somebody smile. I always try and do that. I don't always succeed, but I always do try and like, make at least one person smile every day. Like, even if it's like fast food drive through line. And uh, I don't know, I just, I consciously try and do that. Anyway, I love you guys so, so much. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.